I'm telling you, this piano has the most lousy instructions about how to do, how to save your music to the computer. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a USB cord. It's called um, USB cable A to B. I got a 10-foot cord because I got a long ways from my piano to my computer. But they warn you, you can't. it can't be longer than that or it won't work. So I ordered it from Walmart for like 3 bucks and... Uh, and I picked it up and it's working. And but you gotta have that. If you, it doesn't come with the piano, you have to purchase it separately. I got a P115 Yamaha digital piano. Okay, the next thing you do after that is you gotta you gotta download two pieces of software. You need a um a MIDI driver. And I had a time finding one for Windows 10 because I use Windows 10. But here is a site where you can find it, YamahaProAudio.com. It's actually a European site, but it works for me. So I went here to get the MIDI driver. You need a MIDI driver, okay? And uh, when you open up and you, when you scroll down on the page, they show different USB to MIDI drivers. And I obviously, I have a 32-bit Windows 10, so I highlighted that and I double-clicked it and, you know, downloaded it. Um, and here's and after you download it, here is what comes up. Uh, I went ahead and read the, I clicked, double-clicked on Installation Guide. And, uh... And when you do that, this is what you get. Choices for, I obviously chose the English version. And then, and then after that, these are the instructions. And read them and follow them and do as they say. Um, I, basically, I had to, uh, I took all of the, uh, anything that was in a USB port, I took it out. And the only thing that I had connected was my printer and my mouse, like they said. And I just followed their instructions. And um, here's the second page. Here's the second page of the instructions. Um, and um, okay, after you do that, then you have to have MusicSoft Downloader. And I had a time finding one for Windows 10. It was not easy to find. I mean, I went to the Yamaha site, and it was so stinking confusing. I found just doing a Google search, and this is what I found. <laughs> this helped me. They, I, that Yamaha site is so confusing. So, in fact, their instructions for everything are confusing. So, I found this, and that's why I'm making this video to help anybody else who's trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, my Music Soft Downloader version 5.7.3, and today is October 1st, 2017. So, this is the one that for me for Windows 10. And I found this. It's at um, I uh, actually think this this was the European site, anyways. But it's working. It's working for my Amer my American bot Yamaha. Okay. Then you just follow the instructions and agree to the you know their terms and conditions and download it. And um, all of these are end up as zip files. What you do is you double click on the zip file in your downloads and then just um, hit the uh, file that downloads it for you. Okay, so you download both of those following the instructions like they say how to do it. Okay, now you need to make a recording on your piano if you haven't already done so. And here's how you do it. These are the instructions. Um, you want to make sure that you don't have anything else previously recorded because it's going to mess up your recording, I found out. So if there's anything there, you can actually delete it for using the computer <laughs> but or other ways. But... I deleted it using the computer since it was connected. But anyways, presuming, go ahead and follow the instructions. Um, choose your pianist style first, uh, just like they say here. Make the settings according to your performance preferences. So I, I usually choose piano with like a soft orchestra background. Okay, the next thing you want to do after that is press record to engage the record ready mode and the record lamp will flash. And if necessary, set the tempo. I don't do that. <laughs> okay. And you cannot, okay. The next thing you do after that is play the keyboard or press play 
to start to start recording. Okay. And then record your performance. Okay. Then when you're done, press record or play to stop the recording. And you know, just do do, do everything else they say here. Okay, so the record and play lamps will flash, indicating that the recorded 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 data is being stored. After the store is completed, the record lamp turns off. Okay, now you got to make sure everything's connected. In the back of the piano, at the very left, it says USB to host, and that's where you start. You put in your like your B. I think they call it the B end of your uh, USB connector cord. You put that in there, and then my 10-foot cord goes all the way out to my computer, and I put that part in the USB port. Okay, so you got a connection there. Okay, the next thing you do now is double-click on the icon for MusicSoft Downloader. Now, this is what I found so confusing, and they don't. Ex their instructions for this are just lousy. But here is what really happens when you pull up MusicSoft Downloader with a Windows 10 computer and a Yamaha P115 piano. First of all, you might need to refresh it to make sure. Okay, make sure everything. All the you might need to check your connections and all that. So I and if everything's working, then refresh it. And this is what should pull up your user song one right there. And it's it's in it's in the it's see where it says electronic musical instruments there to the left. Well, you click on flash memory, and that's actually the memory inside your piano. Now, a P115 piano only records one song at a time. So if you want to save it, you got to save it to the computer like I'm doing. Okay, so you double-click on flash memory, and then to the right, there is the song in your flash memory. It's user song 1MD. Okay, that's what the computer is showing you is what is on your piano in its storage, in its, you know, in its database. Okay, okay, after you do that, you highlight user song one in that right box, and then, oh, oh, and then you hit, I think it says that, that arrow, that, that purple arrow there to the right, I think it says move. Yeah, you hit that arrow next, okay? And then it's gonna say, do you wish to receive user song 1MD? You hit okay. Yes, you want to do that because you want it to go into your hard drive on your computer. Okay, then, then it's going to end up in that upper box. That means now it's, it is transferred from the piano to your MusicSoft downloader. It's in temporary files in the MusicSoft downloader. See, I've highlighted up there in the upper box. Okay. The next thing you want to do now is you want to move it from the temporary file onto your computer's hard drive. So what you're going to do now is highlight Windows you C under in that box right below it in the lower left box. Windows C or wherever you want to save it. I love I like to save it to my computer's hard drive. You could also save it on a floppy disk on the A drive with my computer set up. Depends depends on your computer. So you choose where you want to save it. I think most people would prefer to save it on the hard drive. So I'm going to Windows C. Now I've got I already created a special folder called MIDI files just for these saved songs for my piano. So now you click on Windows C and then that and then to the, that box to the right shows you your hard drive on your computer. So you navigate to your folder that you want it to or file wherever you want it to go to. Okay. okay, and there, so here I am trying, I, I'm in, the, now I'm working in that box to the lower right, and I'm going to users. This is the way my computer's set up. Yours might be different. Then I go to Gale. I have everything on my Gale folder on my hard drive there. And then I navigate to MIDI files. There's the folder where I want the song to go, but I need to open up the folder so it'll go right into that folder. So I do that, and when I open up the folder, you can see I already have some songs saved there. Okay, and I'm going to get ready to save that song right in that box above down into that um, 
into the onto the hard drive of my computer. So what I do now is I'm going to hit move that move arrow right there. And it's going to ask me, do you wish to transmit user song one MID? Yes. Yes. You want to do that. That's going to move it to your hard drive. Okay. You do that and voila, voila, there it is. You got it on the hard drive of your computer. Now you see that. Okay. You, the, the instructions don't tell you how to do this. I had to figure this out by playing around. Okay. So you got a MIDI file saved on the hard drive of your computer. MIDIs do not play sound in Audacity. If you don't have Audacity, that's a great program to use to edit your file. So down, download Audacity. Okay, I, I've had Audacity a long time. That's how I made my audiobooks. Okay, now you want to convert the MIDI to a WAV file that or MP3, but Audacity will not import a MIDI file in a way where you can hear the sound. They will import MIDI files, but you can't hear the sound. So I prefer to convert um, the MIDI to a WAV. So I used an online free conversion service. There are a lot of ways you could do this. Okay, so now I've converted it to a WAV, and now I'm going to bring it into Audacity. You go to Audacity, go down to Import, Audio. Okay, then uh, find the folder where it's at, and, and then highlight that. You found it. What I did is I actually changed the name of the folder to something more recognizable. And as you can see, what I have here are two MIDI files, and I've got one in the middle, which is a WAV file. That's the one I want. The one in the middle, that's the WAV file. Okay. And then you highlight the one that you want to be brought into Audacity. And it's going to ask you, well, you know, would you want to use the fast method or the method or the slow method? I always choose the fast method. And that brings it right into um, Audacity. And voila! And what's next is I'm going to play your recording of what it sounds like on my computer. Okay, here we are in Audacity. And I'm going to go... I've got it set on the music setting so that you can... Oops, it's hard to do this when I'm with the camera here. Oh, where am I? You can barely see. There you go. Let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. You can hear it on my speakers. This is saved music from my piano. It took me forever to figure out how to do this. I almost gave up. I mean, the, the instructions are so lousy. That's why I'm making a video. There it is. <laughs> Save music from my piano. And then you can go in here and edit it. And, you know, once you learn how to do Audacity, you can go in here and edit it, take out your mistakes and all sorts of stuff. So, lovely piano, but it's the you know, instructions on how to assemble it and everything are really lousy. You kind of like have to play around and figure it out, brother. So, oh, I'm so thrilled I figured this out. I'm going to make Brent a music album. Ha <laughs>